And so we're beginning what is uh, going to be the last part of the story. Well, wasn't that magical? And now you fall to your death. No, oh, actually wait, you can There's a spring there. Remember, you can't fall, to, you don't receive fall damage when you use Pontify. But you do accidentally drink them. No, I didn't. Uh, well, that wasn't accidentally this time around. I mean, I only had two lightnings of life. I'd better not let Madame Pomfrey see me. There's Hermione! What's that she's holding? It's a note! In her handwriting, here's what it says. Of the many fearsome beasts and monsters that roam our land, there is none more deadly than the basilisk, the king of serpents. This snake, which may reach gigantic size and live hundreds of years, is born from a chicken's egg, hatched beneath a toad. Aside from its deadly and venomous fangs, the basilisk has a horrible stare, and all who are fixed with the beam of its eye shall suffer instant death. Spiders flee from the basilisk, for it is their mortal enemy. The basilisk flees only from the crowing of the rooster, which is fatal to it. But how's the basilisk been getting around the place? A giant snake! Someone would have seen! Pipes, Ron! It's been using the plumbing! I've been hearing that voice inside the walls! That girl who died! Aragog said she was found in a bathroom. What if she never left the bathroom? What if she's still there? You don't think. Not moaning myrtle. The entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. What if it's in moaning, moaning myrtle's bathroom. bathroom? All students are to return to their house dormitories at once. All teachers return to the staff room immediately, please. Oh no! Not another attack! Yes, there had been another attack. The worst one yet. This time, someone had disappeared. It was Ginny Weasley, and another message was left on a wall. It said her skeleton will lie in the chamber forever. Hogwarts would surely close now. Professor Lockhart had been given the task of rescuing Ginny, but Ron and Harry were beside themselves with worry. They had to do something. Hurry, Harry! We have to save Ginny! We need to have a plan. I'll go to Moaning Myrtle's bathroom and try to find the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. And I'll go find Lockhart. It wouldn't surprise me if he was trying to sneak out of Hogwarts. Alright, so all we really have to do is go to Morning Myrtle's bathroom. By the way, I did actually try to, um, like, you know, completely ignore uh, Hermione's condition and just go and uh, redo the Spongify challenge. You know, to get, uh, uh, get... Hermione isn't going anywhere, let's be honest. Right. She'll be she's, fine. She's... she's stuck there. Not running away. Not moving an inch. You can say she's keeping a stiff upper lip. Mm hmm. Well, more, more than just the upper lip. What do you want this time? To ask you how you died. You're the first one who ever asked. I died in this very stall. I remember it so well. The door was locked and I was crying because Olive Hornby had teased me about my glasses. Then I heard somebody come in. They said something odd in a different language, I think. It was a boy speaking. So I unlocked the door to tell him to go and use his own bathroom, and then I died. Where was this boy standing? Over there by the sinks. One of them has never worked, not as long as I've been here. I wonder if that's where the entrance to the chamber is. Open! Open! 
That's not working. Maybe if I try parcel tongue. Open! That's got it. ready to go. What's that? I think it's the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. Well then, you won't be needing me. Cheers, boys. Have to go warm up my broom. You're not through yet. Down you go. No! Come on, Harry. This is it. I know. Yeah, whatever. They'll be fine without me. <laughs> You guys take care of that, I got some exploring to do. Well, I mean, both of you are twice as just me. Okay, I'm just gonna go back. Like, I was actually kind of curious if they were going to let me do the challenge, but at the same time I didn't feel like walking all the way there, you know? Well then why don't you just teleport all the way there, you're a wizard. Every I'm not a counts. Hermione. <laughs> yeah, you have to jump over him. There's something up there! I... I feel faint. The adventure ends here, boys. Run! Say goodbye to your memories! Obliviate! Ron! Are you okay? Ron! I'm here! I'm okay! Go on, go on, Wait there with Lockhart. If I'm not back in an hour. Anyway, see you in a bit. Ron, don't eat your lollipop in the, the, like, the, the whole thing. Have fun being crushed under rubble, Ron. I'm just gonna go explore this chamber of secret. Yeah, uh, about that. Um. You'll see me. Uh, the, uh, remember how how you asked how you are supposed to die in this game. And this is pretty much the, the one and most my, one and only section that really does get hard. But it's not like so hard that it would be that I would consider it unfair. It is just like uh, it is by far the most challenging section. That's for sure. But yeah, that is not the way to go, and I don't actually find out what is supposed to be the way to go, because, uh, uh you'll see. Oh, somebody's been busy. So, uh, there is a little statue over here, and I never do find out what it's for. Definitely not lived. for that. <laughs> mm mm. But I lived. Do beans restore your health? No. No, no, no. Not in this game. Oh, but I have like. Nice. I have like 20 potions, so it's not a big deal. And besides, the way they work is um, the moment you happen to run out of health, uh, they'll just activate automatically. But I still just use them to restore my health normally, because uh, it's just uh, just feels safer that way. Besides, I have way too many anyway. Right. The what frogs only down the chamber of secrets. Is my question. And all of the children eaten by the snakes. Uh, I guess so. We can go there. There ain't no nothing there or there. Can't get away with nothing. Now you're gonna get eaten by my spiders. Get out of here. Eh, yeah, thankfully not. Well, there's still like a spider left over there. The most important thing, what are actually spiders doing here? 
I mean, if they are afraid of the basilisk, what are they doing right next to him? Maybe they found out you were down here, so they want revenge. For all of their friends that I have knocked out, not killed. Yes, including their leader. Mm hmm. Now you want to watch out because the hit detection on those things is a little bit wonky. Oh, oh wow. Okay. And as I said, I'm not going to be cutting out death simply because I can make my way back to where I'm supposed to be relatively fast. And besides, this kind of brings back the point of yes, you can actually die in this game. It does present some takes challenge. Some effort. Well, I mean, like, it, it just takes until uh, the final dungeon to really get uh, difficult, which, I mean, it's understandable, considering this is uh, mostly marketed to be a, uh, a game for kids, you know? Um, excuse you, Nico. Harry Potter is a series for adults, and I resent the implication that the only people who like it are children. This series is far too sophisticated for the likes of some stupid ten-year-old, okay? Hmm. I guess we had that argument. <laughs> You're like, noted. <laughs> That's about it. Yes. And down there, there is nothing. I mean... Well, I mean, they do hide all of things in a very very odd places you'll see by the, uh, when I get to the sponge of life or around here oh that's just dirty oh the walls of death it's, yes. it's, it's just they just check behind them you know it's that they ain't killing nobody no more what the hell I think to do that Oh, you have not seen nothing. The, like, you remember how I pretty much missed, like, uh, apparently seven things in, um, in the Spongify challenge? Including, like, two, uh, 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 not including the two stars? Uh, they hidden something in really, really obscure places. Like, I would never think to check them. I like that the chests are cold now. Oh, well, no, they always been, but uh, the color coding really does not mean nothing. It, it really doesn't mean anything when it comes to the chests. Right. It, it, it isn't like, say, in Tales of the Abyss, where um, a chest of this particular color will contain something that's rare, or the chest of that color will likely just have a gel. Uh, the color coding just right. does not make sense here. Frog. Oh yeah, then we're gonna need that frog. And you may not recognize this. But uh, a remix of this song has actually been used for, as the random encounter theme in the Harry Potter RPG. Really? Yes. So when I heard it, I was like, oh, that's, that's actually very nice. And here is another reason why I despise fairies. Ah! Wow. Just came right, like right for me, like a vicious animal. That's some messed up stuff, dude. <laughs> this is also another one of the reasons why I don't cut out the deaths because some of them are very entertaining. <laughs> and also, um, well. 
it don't really make much sense why I would put so much effort into killing those fairies had I not shown that what what happened just then. I always knew all fairies were evil. Well, I mean, there is a Dean. Nah, she, she's like the, the... She's the one good fairy. Even if she just harassed the princess for literally no reason. I mean... She, she's a good fairy. As long as she has uh, she has her eye on you, or you don't, uh, or like you don't cross her, because right. you, 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 you don't want to be crossed by her, Aideen will just turn your life into a nightmare, or just turn you into stone. Either or. Yeah. And she will get away with it. Yeah, and here is. If you, if you didn't have Lumos, you, you would just fall right there, down there. How would you make it through this game without Lumos? Well, I mean... If you just went... Uh, it, it actually is very difficult to miss those statues. Um, the PS2 version of, uh, of this game it does away with the statues and instead just has has you use the spell in order like on your own volition you just equip it as uh, as one of the spells on the, under your buttons and you use it whenever you feel it is necessary and also uh, in that game lumos actually uh, functions as just a means of actually being able to see something because it is pretty dark. So dark, you need a dog and a tiny hat. Ugh. It would be nice, but still, sadly, nah. I mean, like, um, the lighting actually only works in the PS2 version because for some reason uh, they decided to not do actual, actual lighting in the GameCube release. I don't know why. I mean, I would expect something opposite. Right. But oh well, it's not, it's not the time and place to speak about the horribleness of the GameCube version. Not yet. No, that's apparently the version of Octopus. No, that's odd, because PS2 version has, has a lot more exploits. Right. Like it has, uh, it has a ton of glitches. Some extremely useful uh, for um, the uh, the metal parter solid sections. <laughs> Is there an espionage act? Exactly. And now a room with four of those. And we only get to get rid of two of them. And that was too far. And now they are dead. Now they're not. Remember, they, they, they get back up. And close enough. Right, the flipped turtle is basically dead anyway. Right. Well, and, and, uh, on certain occasions, actually, does mean that because they they, they can't they they can't really uh, flip themselves over on the rain. And some of those two will just will just stay and can't do anything about them. Just leave. I love doing that. That is nice. Yes, it is. It is. It is the funnest. Uh, it, it is the most fun thing to do. Like to um, to slam the spongify right as you're uh, about to fall onto this ca uh, carpet. And we unlock the secret. Gonna collect those. 
because uh, we will still get a um, a, a potion chalice. You know, a, 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 we will still get a cauldron. You missed that cauldron. Oh, Nico, go back! You fool! Oh no! Oh. All of those, all of those beans that I, that I don't need for anything anymore. Exactly. Nico, you disappoint. Oh no! I landed on top of a fairy. Blasted it. And here's just a frog. Oh, but you'll collect these beans though. Because they're secret beans. Uh huh. Makes sense. I see how it is. There, there are more special beans than the other ones. Wow, Nico. Wow. How intolerant. Well, at least it's, it's it's not lactose intolerant because it's beans. What would beans be intolerant to? Uh. Yeah. And there was nothing over there. And this place is pretty nasty. That's what the that's what the laser pointers are. See why I hate fairies so much? Yes. God. Funny thing, you can skip that cutscene and uh, only now that's all. It, it, it does that whole Nintendo 64 thing of uh, the in-engine cutscenes. Uh, like, if you, if you skip them, you don't actually skip them, you just stop looking at what's going on. Right. It's hard. Mm -hmm. And this is my mistake, admittedly. Frog for you. Uh, okay, never mind. I I thought I glitched it, and I probably did, but I I got it anyway. See? And I'm going to get attacked by a snail. Oh, you, you're kind of ignoring me. He wants attention. He's like a cat. So now, now we're going to wait for a good moment, like being at, at the top of the thing. You get flip endo duo. It's, it's, mm, that's gonna be on uh, in the in the third one. On on the on the uh, on the Game Boy Advance. Okay. Well, when do you get uh, the super powered red button? Uh, that's actually in the second. In in, in the one um, uh, that's gonna happen next. We're actually going to also get a purple flipendo. Good. Although that one's the worst. Really? Yeah. It's actually. Um, it's actually gonna hit yourself, Flipendo. Why? Because they kind of have a power charging mechanic and a PS2 version, uh, where the uh, where you have to hold the button for uh, a good amount of time before you launch the spell. But if you hold it for too long, the spell is too powerful and it backfires. Yeah. I got all of my health back. While standing on nothing. Mm-hmm. And, and that's have... that's all of the bronze cards. Uh. So this is as much uh, health as you can get. Six bars of health. Mm-hmm.
Oh, but you'll get those pot beans. Well, he was standing in the corner. That's different. The other one was too. No. Uh huh. Uh huh. It was. It was standing like. No! This section controls me. It's it's really hard to explain, uh, but like it's it's a completely different perspective from the entire game, and they kind of sort of aim your uh, aim your want for you somewhat. But as long as you you just have to get used to it. And then it's okay. No, I, I I I was supposed to be standing on the metal. Sorry. Still waiting for the boulder to just fall. I wasn't gonna wait for that. Oh, the doors aren't opening. I was wondering if there is maybe something I should press, but now you're actually just supposed to walk into the doors. did that on like my recent playthrough of this like you know the one prep the preparational one sort of to see how good this game actually is and, and how many places it crashes for no reason um, there really wasn't anything there like I, I expected something but I don't I don't think there was like at least I don't remember there being anything too particularly important Like, maybe there was a cauldron with some insignificant beams. Wow. Hi, Nico. I cannot believe the amount of people that's coming out of your mouth this episode. I know. <laughs> the hitbox on this fire is all over the place. I bet you'd place. also be the kind of guy who'd freaking hand out juicy fruit to trick or treaters. Who says Jenny. I didn't? God. Ginny, please wake up. She won't wake. Tom? Tom Riddle? She's still alive, but only just. Little Ginny's been writing in my old diary for months. She poured out her soul to me. It made me stronger until I had enough power to pour a little of my soul back into her. What do you mean? Ginny Weasley opened the Chamber of Secrets, just as I had long ago, before I became Lord Voldemort. No! <laughs> it is me, Harry. Ginny told me all about you. I'm afraid that your second year magic tricks will be worthless against the power of the greatest sorcerer in the world. The greatest sorcerer in the world is Albus Dumbledore. Dumbledore is gone. Now I'm going to teach you a lesson. Let's match the powers of Tom Riddle, heir of Slytherin, against the famous Harry Potter. That's a phoenix. Forks! A sword from Dumbledore. No doubt afraid to come himself. Well, it won't save you, Harry Potter. Speak to me, Slytherin, greatest of the Hogwarts Four.
Kill him now! Alright, so the sword works completely different than your wand. It builds power. Holy crap, it shoots Hadoukens. Exactly. Um, you can move very, very slowly when, uh, when you're uh, when you're charging up power, but it's worth waiting. Kill the boy! And here, the best strategy is to just stand in one place and wait for just the right moment. If you fire too quickly, you'll actually move slightly to the left. Your you greatest. Know, the greatest weakness of everybody moving slightly to the left. Yeah, that said, this game really... I mean, I think they briefly mentioned Tom Riddle earlier in the game, but not really. Uh, they did, uh, when you pick up the diary. Yeah, I know. Like, but that was about it. So you don't really... I mean, I understand... They, Yeah, I mean, like, uh, we do get this whole scene where he exposes uh, uh, Aragog. And also they show, you know, they show him so Harry does actually recognize him. So, you know, there is that. Right. But don't worry, things will stop making sense in the PS2 version at all. <laughs> oh, good. My favorite. And yeah, you will take damage from the little puddles uh, on the floor. Um, yeah, even even when they're like super super tiny, uh, they will still damage you. She so just just has one more pixel of health. I missed. Bullshit. But that was a cool angle. <laughs> what was that? I don't know, it was hilarious. They kind of, they kind of killed the mood right there. <laughs> the, 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 those facial features. Oh my god, that's fantastic. Harry, oh Harry, I wanted to tell you, it was me, Harry, but I swear I didn't mean to. Riddle made me do it. It's all right. Riddle's finished. Come on, Ginny, let's get out of here. And they just walk on out. Mm -hmm. Hello, Harry. How do you do? Professor Dumbledore, I thought you'd been suspended. Lucius Malfoy had threatened to curse the board if they didn't remove me. But they decided to stand up to him. Now that the heir is gone and the basilisk is destroyed, they know Hagrid is innocent too. He'll be back in his hut soon. What about Lucius Malfoy? Will he cause any more trouble? I doubt it. We can assume it was him who got the diary to Ginny. He daren't do it again unless he wants the Ministry of Magic after him. About Professor Lockhart, I'm afraid he's lost his memory. Oh dear. What will he think about now that he can't think about himself? Just don't give his job to Professor Snape. He's too, um, valuable as a potions teacher. You've all performed brilliantly. It must have been a terrible experience. It was. We spent much more time in a girl's bathroom than I would have liked. Being petrified was awful, but I learned a great deal from it. I'm going to write a paper about it for extra credit. Ow. When you've got your friends to help you, you can accomplish anything, and nothing is too awful. 
Well, almost nothing. Looking like Goyle came close. Indeed, friends are the There's best, which is why I need for you downstairs. What do you propose for the first toast? To friendship, loyalty, bullshit, and courage. But to friendship most of all. Double bullshit. The rest of the that final term no passed in a haze of blazing sunshine. Hogwarts was back to normal <sighs> with only a few. You pretty small much do differences. everything for everyone. Defense against the dark arts classes were cancelled, and Lucius Malfoy had been sacked as a school governor. Draco was no longer strutting around the school as though he owned the place. On the contrary, he looked resentful and sulky. On the other hand, Ginny Weasley was perfectly happy again. This is our last day at Hogwarts. Yeah, the only thing left to do is the House Cup ceremony in the Great Hall. If you have anything you want to do at Hogwarts, you'd better do it before you go to the House Cup ceremony. And that's something we're gonna do next. <laughs>